Hey everyone, we are out here combining our gardening with Eric's latest hobby. His latest hobby is bow fishing, which you've probably seen a couple videos on here about it. If not, go back and check. Um, but he is loving it because bow fishing combines archery, hunting, and fishing, like his three favorite things, which means bow fishing is like his ultimate favorite thing right now. Plus we've been getting a lot of good results. I feel like he's caught more pounds bow fishing than he's caught like in a lifetime of fishing, but you know, we, we it's just. <laughs> We've got like over 300 pounds. 300 pounds of fish, bow fishing, pretty cool. Probably closer to 350. So what we're doing is doing what people way back when did and we're burying the fish. We've got carp and dogfish. Yep. We have carp and dogfish. We're burying it down about a foot below the soil or my term of measurement is about my rain boot. Once about the size of the my rain boot. Stuff is where we're stopping, which is a little over a foot now. Yeah. So the kids did it earlier. We had essentially homeschool, living out homeschool of like, this is science. The fish is going to help our plants. And this is what the Native Americans taught the pilgrims so long ago. So living out science and history and prepping our garden. Now, usually we've in the past, we have had horse manure, um, so we're having fish guts as one of form of our fertilizer. We might have some horse manure at some point, we might not. Either way, we're giving these maybe a few weeks. I do see some, all, some of you all already planting out there, you ones with beautiful warm weather. Uh, but our season, what is it starting? Probably a few weeks. I feel like right around Mother's Day, maybe a little bit later. This has been a, this has been a warmer winter overall. It's a so, warm winter, but a cold spring. Cold spring, but we can get started pretty soon. So here's his We're ditch. We're getting started by digging trenches. <laughs> We're getting started for our garden. Some of the carp are getting smoked, but we shouldn't have been shooting like 20 to 30 pound carp and they're just too big to smoke. They're not good. So they're getting buried. Oh, and the chickens love them. Yep, the chickens have got them. The gardens got them. And I suppose the record wall for bow fishing has gotten them. So I think I hear, do I hear a chicken over there? Yep, there's one scratching me. There they are. <laughs> it's great to be homesteading. There's something nice about quote unquote, putting your hand to the plow and getting out there and doing the work. Anyway, have a great day.